It is a shitty situation now. The thing is, we never should have let it get that far. Because now, tough choices have to be made. Yeah, that's another, that's another good point. If people wouldn't be scared of being called a racist. Yeah, exactly, dude. That's the thing, dude. Look, freaking civil war, racism, all that shit. I mean, people need to just let that shit die. You know what I mean? Like, that man, they ain't been slaves in America in goddamn a long-ass time, yet we still think slavery is a fucking issue in America. It's still brought up and, and taught to all the kids and all the... It's, it's handed down... When I say taught, I don't mean school. I mean taught by their parents who taught their parents who taught their parents. Who taught. And just... It just keeps on going, dude. It's like it never ends. Especially in the South, where I come from, people still use that race card all them day. Well, you motherfucker did this to my ancestors, motherfucker. I didn't do shit to your ancestors. My goddamn ancestors, ancestors, ancestors. Maybe did some shit, but I fucking went to high school with you, man. Like, it wasn't segregated. Last I checked, I mean, <laughs> my people. Hadn't done shit to your people in goddamn several generations, man. Everyone who did shit to your people's fucking dead. You know what I mean? Like, let that shit die, man. Exactly, man. It's 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 the hood rats. And Yama, if you're not from South in America, then you don't understand what we mean by hood rats, man. Cause like up here in Toronto, man. These are some of the most well-educated black people I've ever seen in my life, dude. My jaw is almost on the floor. How well-spoken they are, well-dressed, fucking just smell nice, they take care of themselves. You know, it, down where I come from? Holy shit, man. If you're from Georgia, if anybody in this chat right now is from Georgia or just the South in general, then you know what I mean when I say holy shit. Yeah, exactly. And here's the thing, dude. They like to bring up the whole thing. Like, motherfucker, there were white slaves, too. I mean, <laughs> there were Irish slaves. There were white slaves. There were all kinds. I mean, there were slaves of every... Every freaking corner of the globe had slaves that came to America. Not just the blacks. I mean, shit, dude. I'm one-eighth Seminole Indian. For Christ's sakes, man. I don't, I don't use the race card. Fucking my ancestors, goddamn... You took all their shit. At least you give the blacks welfare. You know, I'm Native American. I don't get shit. You know what I mean? But you don't see me throwing that race card up. But you're going to. That's what we're here for, remember? Right, of course. The film that was supposed to set off a chain reaction in my imagination, inspiring with a notion that would launch my scientific career. You've still got no memory of what that notion was? Well, how could I? It happened in the brain of a different Emmett Brown. And Emmett Brown now... It's just crazy, man. I mean, time. it's just... Luckily for us, I do know you would think my own brain. that the human the race plus years, could look back at everything we've done. Because everything we're doing today has been proper. done before. It's Good all been stop. done before as far as like trying to build our civilization, Town the way we're building it. And all this. It's all been it's done like before it. and it Only never dirty. works. Oh, the old courthouse. Come on now, Doc. You need to go huh? inside and check it out. First rule of time travel, Doc, never allow your other self to catch sight of you. It could cause reality to collapse or something. You mean? Right behind you. Don't peek. Go on. I'll yep. let you know when you're gone. And don't forget, you're Carl Sagan. The billions and billions guy? The suspected arsonist. Exactly. Huh? Exactly, Yamaha. See, they don't want, they don't want to, they don't want to talk about that. They don't want to talk about the fact, like, the whole reason we even had the slaves is because you sold them to us. Like, no, they don't want to talk about that. They just, they want to talk about from when they landed in America forward. That's all they want to talk about. I don't know what the hell Obama's following, dude. Sonny! But you do show up at the oddest to, uh, moments. 
Where have you been we hiding? We need to get him out of office, dude. Because I'm afraid that by the time his second term's up, you know, because it's, it's like, you know, he can't, he can't be reelected again unless he comes up with some stupid-ass law, which he's pretty fucking good at. He's pretty good at coming up with laws and implementing them into our fucking shit, and then boom, there's a new law. Apparently now a president can go three terms kind of shit, but... This is like his last hoorah, so to speak. So, man, I don't know what the hell he's got in place for us or got on on his agenda to do before he's out of turn. But that whole health care shit? What the fuck, dude? There's all kind, Dude, there's still people today that haven't read the entire health care bill. I don't even see how that happened. Like, how did America even let... i tell you how America let it happen. Because we didn't fucking know about it. They have a bill that's what? Like 7,000... I don't even know how big it is. It's like a fucking huge bill. A healthcare bill. And they kept it secret until the night before. It's like everybody had like four hours to read that shit. Four hours to read a bill this thick. Ain't gonna happen. Before they had to vote on it. And it got passed. It got signed into, into existence. Because nobody knew what was in it. And it wasn't until after it became a thing that people started slowly seeing what was in it. Like the whole healthcare shit with the with having to have health insurance or you get fined? Really? So in a country where I'm supposed to be free, I don't have the choice to not have insurance now? Like you're going to fine me a fine? That, that scales every year you don't have health insurance just because I choose not to have health insurance or choose to have health insurance. By the way, the affordable side of it, have any of you actually gone and looked up what affordable is in monetary terms as far as what if you go and uh, enter in your information and it gives you a quote on through their shit? Affordable, my goddamn ass, dude. Put in there that you're unemployed. Or something like that. And that you have no kids. And that you don't smoke. And yada yada. Whatever the case may be. And I guarantee your quote. Listen. For example, I said you're unemployed. I guarantee your quote will be $600 to $700 or more a month. How the fuck is that affordable, dude? That's more than some people were already paying. Some people's premiums went up 300 fucking percent, dude. That's not affordable. See, like, like with Carter, I don't necessarily know or I don't get into a whole lot of the Carter stuff just because I know Jimmy Carter personally like I personally know him I've eaten Christmas dinner at his house many years in a row he's just a friend of the family but I I don't know I don't agree with everything he did presidentially but as far as Jimmy Carter the man I know him personally I'm good he's a good friend of mine so I don't I don't have anything to say on him other than I don't agree with everything he did during his presidency. But like Nixon, I wasn't alive, so I can't. Yeah, dude, I didn't sign up for it. I didn't sign up for it. I just had to pay a fucking fine, I guess. Fuck it. I just think that's bullshit. I don't understand how that crap even came into play, man. I just, I don't get it. Oh, you know, here and there, you're a little hard to pin down yourself. I went looking for you last night, but... I believe I was exactly. off entertaining a beautiful lady. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I never really got a chance to thank you. Well, I'm sure you would have escaped kid on your own. Kid? Oh, sure, I'm grateful for that, but no, I'm talking about Edna. It's funny to think of now, but until that crisis, I actually thought Edna and I disliked one another. <laughs> Imagine! 
Exactly. Exactly, Slayer. The fun is cheaper. Yeah, well, sometimes first impressions are right. The thing is, you shouldn't let Edna distract you from, you know, the business at hand. Finishing your project for the expo and going to see Frankenstein. Oh, pshaw. I'm far too busy for movies these days. What? Uh... And as for my project, it's practically done. The rocket car? The rocket car? Boy, are you out of date. I've junked a rocket car. But... More trouble than it's worth. I'll never figure out a propulsion system that does what I want it to do. And besides, its social utility is practically non-existent. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Zeph. Call it what it is. Yeah, everybody's going to the site and getting a quote and being like, holy shit, and then not signing up. You'll figure it out, Emmett. You only need a bolt of inspiration, that's all. Maybe if you went to a... The mental alignment meter is a much more worthy project. The what? It was Edna's idea, and she's really been cracking the whip to get me to complete it in time for the expo. Emmett, I'm a little confused here. What day is it? Why, it's opening day. The opening day of the expo. Which reminds me, I'd better skedaddle back to the lab. If Edna catches me dawdling, there'll be heck to pay. Catch you around, Crockett. October 12th, Doc. Uh-oh. See, I kind of wonder that, dude. I, I know, like, all, all presidential candidates, they always say one thing, and then they get in the office and they do something different. Sometimes I wonder, and I guess you'll never know, and I can't, like, I've tried to ask Mr. Carter about it before, but there's certain things you just can't ask you know what I mean but I've always wondered like how much different is it once you get in office than you think it's gonna be like you may go in there like heck I may run for president one day and have all these great ideas and then I get in office and find out I don't have as much power as I think I have you know what I mean you never know man there could be some truth to all that shadow government shit the Bilderberg group and all whatnot Gotta go find Citizen Brown. Citizen Brown. Come to think of it, it is a bit brisk for August. Oh, we're two months late. The expo's about to start, and Teenage U is already in over his head with Edna. I always did have a tendency to plunge into things. Let's plunge into the DeLorean and get to the right date. No, it's far too risky. Remember how I was late picking you up in 86? Yeah. That should have been a tip off. Something is horribly wrong with the time circuits, and the problem appears to be getting worse. If we try to jump now, we could find ourselves stranded in the Cenozoic Age. Oh, or worse, the Mesozoic. Then we're stuck? For the time being. I'll look into the problem and see what I can do. In the meantime, you can go to work on the other problem. Right. I'll go to the lab and see if I can talk teenage you out of- Impossible. If young me is already as infatuated mm -hmm. as you say, you're not going to be able to talk him out of anything. Believe me, I remember. Better to focus on the more clear-headed half of the couple. Edna? Where can I find her? Where do you think? I'll drive. The DeLorean should still function adequately as a means of conveyance in the first three dimensions. You know what's the hardest thing, though? It's like trying to have this conversation with brainwashed Americans who think that, you know, everything's fine, everything's cool, and you're just talking about conspiracy shit and blah, 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 blah. It's always you're like... right. There she is. It's like, I as soon as you open your mouth and they, like, go ahead and cut you off, you're like, 
Oh, really this is one of those guys, I mean, and then 